Welcome to the Best Coast Shire Council Report, your weekly update on council news and events. Hi, I'm Lauren Grills. And I'm Steve Fury. Welcome to this week's show where we'll be talking about lost pets, the Sunderland Bay and Surf Beach shared path. But first, community grants information sessions are coming up. Steve, can you tell us more? Sure, Ken. Council's community grants program was recently reviewed and the community told us that they wanted more time and more opportunity to apply for grants. So the program's now open all year round with assessments being made in March and August. So if you're part of a community group looking for some funding for equipment or a special project or an event, then you've now got plenty of time to get your application in. That's right, Steve. All the information you need to apply for a grant is available on our website at basscoast.vic.gov.au forward slash grants. But if you're unsure about anything in your application or have any questions about eligibility or want some advice, then come along to one of our community grants information sessions. Now, the next round of sessions is being held in June, so it's not that far away. The sessions are held a number of times throughout the year and we try to vary the locations and times so they're as convenient as possible for all of our residents to get to one. This time round sessions are being held in Inverloch and New Haven. The Inverloch session is being held on Tuesday the 7th of June from 3pm to 4pm in the Inverloch Community Hub which is located in a Beckett Street in Inverloch. The New Haven session is being held on Wednesday the 8th of June from 4 to 5pm and that's in the meeting room at the Phillip Island Visitor Information Centre at 895 Phillip Island Road in New Haven. And of course don't forget to check out the Community Grants webpage at basscoast.vic.gov.au forward slash grants for all the information. Moving on, everyone loves being reunited with loved ones and returning lost pets to their owners is one of the best things that our community safety rangers get to do. We try hard to reunite lost animals as soon as possible and it helps if we can identify the owner through a registration tag or microchip. If the animal doesn't have a history of getting out and wandering, then we'll try to return the animal without having to impound it. We also post information on found animals on our website to try and make sure as many animals as possible are returned to their owners. Now, In the last six months, 92 of the one 107 dogs we found were returned to their owners with the 15 remaining adopted by rescue groups and rehomed. Only 14 of the 56 cats found were reunited to their owners. However, 31 were adopted by various rescue groups and rehomed whilst the remaining 12 were euthanised after being classified by a vet as feral. While we don't adopt out animals from the pound ourselves, we currently work with six rescue groups to give animals that are surrendered or aren't returned to their owners the best chance possible of finding new homes. This is done under section 84Y agreements, which sets out the legal requirements of rehoming animals from Victorian pounds. It's a good reminder to get your pet microchipped and registered. You can't really tell by looking that an animal's microchipped and we're seeing an increasing number of lost pets posted to social media sites first. So if you do find a lost animal, please let us know as not everyone has access to social media. The Sunderland Bay and Surf Beach Shared Path is a project that's been long awaited by the community. The path forms part of the Smiths Beach Sunderland Bay and Sunset Strip and Surf Beach Community Plan and the Bicycle Infrastructure Action Plan, so big plans to link all these things together. This pathway will allow for a safer travel experience for pedestrians and cyclists in the area and create the chance to detour along the many beach access paths that are dotted along the route towards Cowes or New Haven. Council held drop-in sessions on the 29th and the 30th of April for the community to provide their thoughts on the proposed shared path. A total of 127 residents took part in the drop-in sessions where they were presented with information regarding the proposal. The participants then had the opportunity to vote on their most preferred alignment and provide us with feedback. We also had an additional 22 community members contact council prior to and after the drop-in sessions, bringing the total number of community members consulted to 149. Out of the 149 people, 42 of these also provided further written feedback and comments on the project in addition to voting for their most preferred option. The feedback and comments were around topics such as the impact on the environment, construction materials that were going to be used and exactly where the path was going to be aligned. Those that didn't provide additional feedback were pleased with the proposal and were eager for the project to move forward. The key theme amongst the participants was to improve safety. It's really great to see so many community members participating in this process and it's a chance to not only share their views with council but also with each other. You can check out all the proposed concept designs and the results of the drop-in sessions on our website at basscoast.vic.gov.au forward slash sbsbpath. That's obviously Sunderland Bay Surf Beach 
path. That's right. <laughs> so look out for further community meetings around the shared path coming up in the near future. Now well, that's all we've got time for this week. And as always, if you have any questions or need more information about anything we've mentioned, give us a call on 1300 Beak Host. That's 1300 226 278 or 035671 2211. And keep up to date on our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Bass Coast Shire or follow us on Twitter at Bass Coast. And we'll catch you next week for more council news. The Bass Coast Shire Council Report is broadcast on Tuesday mornings at 9.30, Thursday afternoons at 4.30 and on Saturday mornings at 10 on your community station 3MFM. Audio and transcript is also available from our website, basscoast.vic.gov.au.